Ah, oh, Phelps. I was just discussing with Finbar here how well you were doing. Have a seat. Yeah, my real name. And you can just forget all about it. You boys have a new case. A poor Hispanic woman murdered near City Hall and left lying naked in an alleyway. Another naked woman, sir? Yes. We seem to have had quite a run of them since the Dahlia Fiends first struck. Phelps is politely trying to hint that he thinks that Mendez's case is hopeless. Well, young Phelps, you win some, and you lose some in police work. You're happy with the Mueller case, sir? Over the moon, boys! The DA couldn't be more pleased with the evidence, the witness, and the lack of an alibi. Now, get out there and catch me another sinner. Los Angeles, you have the, the address? It's the alley off the lease of between Los Angeles and Alameda. You're kidding. The next one will be opposite Central Station. Count yourself lucky, guys. Most guys would kill to land a case so close to their desk. Yeah. It means they can pop in to hit the office supply of hooch whenever they need it. You know, that ain't a bad idea. That is not a bad idea at all, though. Detectives, they're ready to start the show. I'll take you through. Oh, for Christ's sake. The lacerations on the neck would indicate only 21 years old. But why the library card? Did he want us to find it? Another wedding ring torn from the finger. No skin under the fingernails. The evidence in the Mueller case was solid. I'm not convinced about Mendez. The best way to get away with murder is to pin it on somebody else. I'll bet a month's salary this is a copycat. Strangled, battered, Yeah, naked. yeah, yeah. We know the M.O. So does every jerk who kills his wife and girlfriend looking for a way out. I've spoken to Brown. He still believes the Dahlia perp has medical experience. Four women, all murdered, all put on display, all with messages. Mueller had no message. Look, Phelps, this is getting us nowhere. Anything for us to go on, Mal? Bruising from a small man's shoe. Further blunt force trauma to the occipital region at the base of the skull. Could have been fatal, but clear signs of strangulation would seem to rule it out. Lipstick appears to be a similar color to the other cases. I'll see if I can nail down a brand. She took a blow to the head like the others. She was probably unconscious when strangled. May as well follow the trail. the library card. Proximity to the scene, plus the bloodstains. No way is this coincidence. On 
down it goes. We kept the area pristine for you boys. Let's check it out. House keys strung up like bait on a hook. Trying to lead us somewhere? Probably all the way to City Hall. Then. That's got to be a code or a cipher. Empty. Where is all of this meant to be taking us? Clearly wants us to find these things. He's left them for us. There you go, Phil. You got a new MO. Told you. Or he might just be getting more confident. Enameled and gold plated. This was precious to her. Trail points up. Pulled from the finger and hung up here. What's the significance? as though the killer was decorating with this. Son of a bitch wants her identified. Mrs. Antonia Maldonado. 712 North Hill Street, downtown. Mrs. Maldonado, right? That's affirmative. All right, so then there's a husband we should be looking for. Get him, we close the case. Ah, uh, Rusty's razor, of course. I don't want to question your tried and tested techniques, Detective Galloway, but doesn't the DA require sound casework before he'll close the book? Not if he's got a confession. And, you know, there's ways of getting it. I'm sure.
LAPD, ma'am. Detective Phelps and Galloway. Does Mrs. Maldonado live here? Yes, she does. I'm Mrs. Barbara LaPente, the owner of this boarding house. Is there a problem? I'm afraid so, ma'am. Do you mind if we come in? Is there somewhere we can discuss this? Of course. Follow me through to the parlor. Wipe your feet if you come in, detectives. It's this way. Mrs. Maldonado was found dead this morning. Dead? Oh, no. She can't be. I'm afraid she was murdered, ma'am. We need to take a look at her things. I can't believe it. A person seems so alive, and then they're gone. Antonia's room is upstairs, last door on the left. Thank you. We'll be back shortly. Uh, excuse us a moment, ma'am. Look at that. Someone's turned the place over. The smashed window explains why the place looks tossed. You know how I feel about windows, Phelps. arm bracelet wasn't among the crime scene evidence. We have some questions, ma'am, if you're up to it. Yes, detective. I'll do my best. Do you have any idea who might have wanted to hurt Mrs. Maldonado? That rat of her husband, Angel. She was serving him divorce papers. If I killed every wife to serve me papers, I'd be a mass murderer. Are you being flippant, young man? No, ma'am. What can you tell us about Angel Maldonado? She married him when she was 17. He was cruel to her, very cruel. She was a good girl, little on the religious side, but a good girl. What time did Antonia go out yesterday? She left around nine. Do you know where she went? No. I, I have no idea. She was a good girl, but she didn't confide in me. A nosy old hag like you knows everything about the people who live under her roof. Where did she go? I think she went to a bar. She's been drinking quite a lot lately. This bar have a name? El Dorado Bar. It's a Latino place on North Los Angeles Street. That's only a couple of blocks from where we found the body.
You've had a break in? Yo! That can't be true. You're being economical with the truth, Mrs. Lepenti. What do you have to hide? I have no idea what you are talking about. So Antonia lost her keys and used an iron bar to jimmy the back window? I heard a noise in the early hours of the morning. I thought it might be a raccoon at the milk bottles. It'd be very bad for business if this news got out. I have a reputation to protect. Antonia and her husband were estranged? Yes. She moved here after she separated from her husband two months ago. But Antonia still wore a wedding ring? She wore the wedding ring and a necklace. She always wore a religious necklace. That's about all of her jewelry. What about her bracelet? I don't know anything about a bracelet. In her wedding photo, she's displaying a charm bracelet. That thing? She never wore it. He gave it to her. She always kept it in that wooden jewelry box. Thanks, ma'am. You've been very helpful. Pay a call to that husband of hers. Lock him up and throw away the key. We can either front Angel, seeing as the finger's pointing right at him, or we can check out the Eldorado man. 